that's your weekly win. Ba, 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 ba. I've decided to turn it down on the on the show. <laughs> because editing the last one, it was like a minute of just that. Yeah. So imagine what, having to listen to it. What is your weekly win? I am in seasonal limbo. Oh dear. I don't know who I am. It's nearly Christmas. It is, but I still feel I'm not ashamed Christmassy yet. Oh. to put on a Christmas playlist. You don't need to feel ashamed. I feel like once the Christmas lights are switched on, which I believe is tomorrow. It would, it would have been a week ago for those listening or watching. But you also have no idea where we live, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you don't care when our Christmas lights switch on. <laughs> no, this is irrelevant to you. But yes, I'm pretty sure I'll see, I, I don't, might feel Until I've decorated my house, I won't feel it. I'm not sure about my Christmas tree around the dog, my feral little fluffy monster. Yeah, you might have to forego that Christmas tree Never. this year. Okay, she well, might where... just have to live outside. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's a bit hard. <laughs> what are we going to do? Pen it away? No, like, put pen a pen around it. Away. Ellie! <laughs> She'll be allowed in a very small you section can put it outside. of the room. I'm putting it outside. <laughs> I don't know. It's an artificial tree. Put it in the cupboard and you can just open it when you want to oh. feel Christmassy. <laughs> No, I am, yeah, I'm in seasonal limbo. Okay. I've not heard a single Christmas song yet. No, neither have I actually, um, but that's intentional. Uh, well, I, I listen to the radio a lot, so I'm uh, surprised I haven't been... No, I wouldn't say yet. Tested, I'd say I'd say yet. later in November we're going to hear well, more Normally l- it's late October that we normally uh, Okay, well, <laughs> what a um, riveting conversation. So I'm waiting for Mariah Carey to be like... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be I'm, like, excited. Ah. I'm, I'm mainly excited for Christmas films. That's what I prefer than Christmas music because I, I do feel like mm. the music is getting dry. No. Okay. Fine. Strongly disagree. You know, my new favourite one is the Kelly Clarkson and Ariana Grande. Oh, very Grande. good. Yeah, um, actually, very good. Speaking right. of Ariana Grande. Yeah, wicked. Yeah. Are you thrilled? About? Are you excited for it? I haven't really, I don't really care. Neither do I. Okay. I keep being asked, are you looking forward to it? And I'm like, no. I no, well, I mean, I'm not. I'm not really into her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like a big Ariana Grande fan. I like I love the musical Wicked, but I, I, w- I wasn't like gagging for a Wicked film. You really didn't enjoy the use of gagging. <laughs> I wasn't like, oh my god, how amazing! I'm sure it would be good. I'll probably go and watch it, but I, yeah. I'm not. Ex- I'm not. Ex- I don't really get excited about anything. No. Oh, I watched a really good film this week. Okay. And I feel like I should tell you all about it because I never like films. FYI. Mm. You've probably heard this before. I'm not a massive film she watcher. She doesn't sit still long um, enough to enjoy no, a film. And actually, you're very welcome that I sit still during these. You're very welcome. I don't think that's the right phrase. You should be You're welcome. very privileged. No, you're welcome that I managed to sit still. I don't think anyone's thanking you. Well, they should. <laughs> okay. uh, I watched a film called Hidden Figures. Yes, you said that was good. Yes, but you didn't reply. No, I've been busy. Okay, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I really enjoyed it, and apparently it was in the cinema quite a while ago, and um, people loved it. Is it on the Netflix? It is on the Netflix, and it's all about it. Gives Don't like give it away. Well, I can't. <laughs> it's not. Give a loose synopsis. Well, I was just going to say it's very akin to Oppenheimer, but a normal length film. I was going to say that is long. And, Good film though. Um, it's about the women behind the mathematics that got the first man up in space in America. Does that sound like something you would like to watch? It doesn't. However, (laughs) if I could have heard that, I would have been like, Ellie would never sit down and watch that film. And yet I did, the entire way through. I will give it a gander. It is a good film. I'll give it a gander and I'll let you know. Yes, you should. I cried. Oh, okay. Is it sad? No. Okay. It's just, just very, having a bad day. <laughs> it's very overwhelming. I was having a bad day, to be fair, but it was. Over- Don't go into that. <laughs> it was overwhelming. Okay. Because they were really good at maths for you. Okay. <laughs> and then I stopped watching it, and then messaged Vicky to say you should watch this, mm. and I couldn't work out how to spell um, the word. What was it? Figures. Maths. Right. And that's pretty <laughs> easy. And I tried four times to type the word maths, and uh, how do you spell that wrong? I don't. I couldn't. With a work. F. I was confused by the th, and right. it didn't I look have, right. I just... And I had an L in there somewhere. Mouths. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was like with an F, and okay. then like a. You need two to, A's. You need to stop talking. It's because I, I was tell you what. Out. Actually, something I else. Talked a lot today. Something else that I need to bring up on on TikTok. Also, I have been seeing lots of videos with the question: <laughs> If someone was trying to summon you with three items that they had to put in a cauldron. And they had to sum up you mm. just to summon you back from the dead. What would those three items be? I think I know what yours are. Go on, I think yours <laughs> would be... This is going to be offensive. No, no, no. A plaster or some sort of first aid kit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a ballet shoe. 
uh, yeah, and um, gluten free flour. <laughs> I think those those yeah. three things sum you up pretty well. Yours would be. Um, uh, mine's a tiny teaspoon. Uh, yeah, tiny teaspoon. Probably, probably hot chocolate no, powder. Excuse me. I okay, was go. <laughs> tiny teaspoon. Yeah. TCP. I don't. I don't ever <laughs> use TCP. Then why do you always smell it? I don't. You do. I thought you said I smell like warm electric. Your natural sense of warm electrics and TCP. <laughs> well, there are worse things. Yeah. Could well, be I'm onions. Not, not saying it's a bad thing. I'm okay. just saying you always smell medicinal. <laughs> okay, that would not. I would not come back for that. <laughs> I would not be summoned. <laughs> Tiny spoon, TCP, and, a and like a rice cake. Ugh. <laughs> you give rice cake vibes. I do like a flavoured rice yeah, cake. Flavoured okay. rice cake. Like That's a... the most boring answer ever. Uh, tells you all you need <laughs> no, to know. No, I would have said a tiny teaspoon, hot chocolate, and like either a cinema ticket or a dog paw. No. Okay. <laughs> rice cake. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you have a weekly whinge? Yeah, I told you, I'm in seasonal limbo. Oh, right, that was That's it. That's how we got here. <laughs> okay, well, that was our weekly whinge. Wait, did you have one? No. <laughs> no we just talked about me. What was my weekly whinge? <laughs> oh, I guess I know. my room has a has a moulding smell. It's TCP. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's either because, see, in my sleep, I knocked over my, I have like a, the cup you bought me. Big, like a Stanley, but it's, it's... Mm -hmm. It's an off-brand Stanley, basically. Stan me. A Stan me. And I knocked it over and it leaked all over the floor during my, my slumber. Yeah. And I woke up and it had seeped everywhere and it was really quite everywhere. And, and How did now... that not wake you up? It's quite a considerable container. Okay, well, I just didn't. I don't know how to tell you. I have a carpet, so it's not going to make a big bang. It was on the floor? Yeah. Well, how did you knock it over? Well, I, I must have knocked it with my arm or something. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, but I knocked it over. Because I have a weighted blanket, so maybe it was the blanket. <laughs> you have mean... a weighted blanket? Mm. Does that pin you down? I'd love it. I love it. Mm. It feels nice and I can't be disturbed. I love it. Anyway, that <laughs> seeps into the carpet and, and it's just started to smell like rotting. Nice. Like rotting things. And water? I don't... Well, I don't know whether it was that, because that, it's gone away now, and the, also the water's gone away, but I don't know if it was that, because it did smell like dead people. So I don't know if something, mm. if something died in the walls or next door, because I share a wall with next door. Um, or Should it we was check the on car. the neighbours? <laughs> well, I've seen them since, so I presume everything's <laughs> fine. But yeah, bad smell. That is my weekly whinge in my bedroom, but it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> and that was our weekly whinge. <laughs> <laughs>